Like I said, it gives you a lot of that kind of dirt bike supermoto stuff, but in a package that's easy to handle for most people. It's not tall and intimidating. Hayabusa. Alrighty, everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Beginner Bike Giveaway Series. This truly is one of the most beginner of beginner bikes we are giving away. This is our 2019 KTM Duke 390. I love this motorcycle. So last year we did a giveaway RC390. I've got currently a track prepped RC390 that I use for my own personal track day things. And uh, this is a really fun platform. I got a lot to say about this motorcycle, but of course, as I mentioned earlier, it is a giveaway bike. So this is not my motorcycle. I'm actually giving this motorcycle away. Click the link down below on yamanube.co. Get yourself signed up. Get access to our Discord server. All kinds of cool perks and features. Every dollar you spend gets you 10 entries. So if you sign up for a $20 package, get access to our Discord server. Get yourself 200 entries. Get access to all kinds of cool stuff. I am on the Discord server literally every day day you can ask people down in the comments below if you don't believe me they are active discord members i am there every day chatting with people and hanging out so click the link down below and check it out but before we take off on this motorcycle we're doing it in a bit of a different location today we're right here on this very beautiful scenic little overlook about to head out here on the hills here and the uh, highway 360 go up north to our normal spot but i thought we'd start off on the highway with this bike because that's a common thing people want to know about this bike they're like yammy can the rc excuse me, can the Duke 390 handle highway duty? And uh, I'm proud to report that it certainly can. But let's talk about this bike a little bit before we take off on it. So what is it? Uh, this is a motorcycle produced by KTM, as we just mentioned. It features a 373cc single cylinder engine, makes about 42 horsepower, stays right in that A2 compliant zone. And I gotta say, I think it's one of the coolest looking little bikes that you can ride. Also because this motorcycle is so lightweight and features that punchy single cylinder, it doesn't really feel like a little beginner bike, honestly. It doesn't feel like a anemic, you know, slow to rev kind of pingy little bike. It feels like a proper little motorcycle. Uh, it just feels pint-sized. Um, I've got so many things I want to say about this bike. It's so, so cool. Um, I, I think the main point I want to drive home is that this is a super fun motorcycle to ride no matter your skill level no matter your experience you jump on this thing and it is awesome so key changes they made to this bike over the old models is they changed the frame as you can see now this is no longer a one-piece trellis frame this is a two-piece frame with the new subframe here bolted onto this trellis i think this is about the same as what they were used to doing they also made some changes to the engine uh, the cases are a little bit different they adjusted the head gases supposedly it's a little bit more reliable uh, we will see as you can see, this is the naked version of the RC390, so no fairings, kind of a simpler look. Uh, it features upside-down, non-adjustable WP suspension at the front, which is quite stiff. Uh, very, very sporty. And it also features this 300mm uh, Bybri brake system. Uh, these brakes are okay. Um, I think the big thing about them is that they are definitely better than the brakes that come on the R3. They are not quite as good as the brakes that come on the Ninja 400. They're kind of somewhere in between. Uh, but these brakes, as I've done on my track prepped RC, you can swap out the pads, do a couple other changes, and get them to perform quite a bit better than stock. Uh, the other big thing you'll notice as well here on this motorcycle, uh, we've got a double camera going on here. Hello, everyone. It features a TFT display. So as I mentioned in my first ride back home with it, uh, this is one of the few motorcycles in this segment right now that features this big TFT display. It's a really premium feature. Super easy to get around with this uh, system right over here. Really, really easy to use. Um, it doesn't have a lot of features. It's kind of for show. Uh, it shows you basic stuff like your trip, your odometer, all the stuff you come to ex expect out of a bike. It features the KTM My Ride feature as well. Uh, that's a system where you can hook up your phone to your KTM and it gives you, you know, integration with navigation or something like that. I'm not going to be bothered to set it up on this bike. I like my bike a little bit more simple, a little bit more easy to ride. It doesn't really concern me too much. Uh, and one of the key features this bike has is a supermoto mode. What does supermoto mode do? It engages the rear ABS. It actually turns it off. It doesn't engage it, it turns it off, I'm sorry. And uh, makes it so you can slide the rear wheel around, have some fun with it, and it's a great time on this motorcycle. Uh, this bike, I mean, the coolest thing about it is just how tiny it feels in the saddle. It's just so pocket-sized. It's so small and nimble and easy to ride. 
I think for people who are looking to get a bike and they kind of already know they want to maybe practice some wheelies, have a good time with their motorcycle, maybe they're interested in doing things a little bit more in a fun variety with their bikes, this is the one to get, man. This bike, I think, is a perfect starting point for those of you who are looking to maybe jump into a supermoto eventually, because this is going to give you those fundamentals in a package that has a relatively small seat height. As you can tell, I'm six foot, 32 inch inseam, flat footing this motorcycle with a bend in my knee. So with this bike, I mean, damn near anybody can ride it, honestly. Let's get it started up and see how it sounds, shall we? We've got the backlit controls here, which is pretty cool. Let's get it started up. Got that quiet stock exhaust on there, but it still sounds pretty spicy. Sounds just like our old RC390 that we had as a giveaway bike a little while back. What I'm going to do actually is adjust the brake lever a little bit because this bike actually comes stock with some brake lever adjusters, which is really nice. I need to get these a little bit closer to my fingers. So bear with me while I do this here, guys. That's more like it. That's how I like it. All right, let's get it out on the highway because I think that's what a lot of people like to see with these little bikes to see how does it do on the highway. So let's do that really quick and let you know how it is. As you guys can tell, I'm wearing all my sport gear today. Got my full face awry, not my finned helmet that I normally wear. Got my Dainese textile. And so we are sporting and good to go. One thing I wanted to show you guys really quick though before we take off is just how easy this bike picks up the front wheel. You just clutch it up in first. It just, it just pops right up. It is so fun. If you want a bike to learn how to do wheelies on and goof around with, this is the machine. As I'll show you guys right here. Just a quick little one. Just little baby wheelies all day. <laughs> and I'm really bad at wheelies, so that tells you how easy this thing is to wheelie. Gets up to speed just fine. Now, one thing I really like about this motorcycle as well are these uh, mirrors. These have to be some of the nicest mirrors that I've ever seen on any bike ever. As a side note, guys, look how beautiful it is today. Spring day here in Texas. Got the wildflowers and the boo bonnets coming out. Oh, love this time of year here in Texas before it starts getting scorching hot. It is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, yeah, as I was saying, the uh, mirrors on this motorcycle are fantastic. Really, really nice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to skip ahead here. So after pulling some incredibly legal maneuvers and following all traffic laws, I'm a little bit further ahead here on the KTM. As I was mentioning, the uh, mirrors are quite good on this motorcycle. Uh, you can really see far behind you. It's a high level of adjustability on them. Really, really easy to use in, uh, in everyday traffic situations. I've actually, these, these got to be one of my favorite mirrors that I've ever seen on any bike. They're really, really nice. Um, sitting here in the saddle, I love the look down on this cockpit. Fuels way more premium than the price point would suggest. Uh, with this color scheme and the TFT and all kinds of stuff, it just feels like an awesome place to be. Now, one thing to note about the KTM is that it works extremely well in low speeds. It is a fantastically fun motorcycle to ride in low speeds. Uh, but it works pretty okay at higher speeds as well, as we just saw on the highway over there. We jumped on. And, uh, you know, going 60, 70 miles per hour, not a problem on this little bike, you know? Even though it does have this very short wheelbase and very compact riding position and riding triangle here, uh, you know, works really, really well. Ugh, all these flowers. Spring is so wonderful here in the hill country, man. It's so pretty out here. It's so nice. Oh, my God. I need to start a political action committee that uh, specializes in getting lane filtering to be legal in Texas because this is so frustrating. One thing to note as well is since this is a single cylinder engine, it's not going to be as refined and as smooth to ride as something like the Ninja 400 or the R3, but the trade-off that you get is low-end grunt. Uh, the single cylinder has a lot more low-end punch than those other two bikes. You just wick up the throttle here in first, picks up really nice, man. It's a fun motorcycle. Uh, this is such a good platform for anybody who's wanting to learn how to ride and who specifically wants to get something that's going to be a little bit more playful than the Ninja 400, than the R3. Um, th this is the choice to get, in my opinion, especially with some of these more premium features, especially with, uh, you know, just, I think it's such a good value for money, especially if you can pick it up lightly used. It's, it's really, really phenomenal. 
So yeah, this bike gives you all those kind of super moto vibes, all those kind of like, you know, just playful, fun motorcycle, but in a package that I think for the average rider is uh, gonna be really, really approachable and really acceptable, you know? Uh, I can't imagine a situation where you know, someone gets into one of these and they feel like it's too much for them or it's too powerful or too crazy. This is such an adequate first bike for almost all people. One thing that I would love to check on this motorcycle is if uh, KTM has fixed a bit of the, uh, the fueling issues. So the original RC390 that we had ran extremely lean. Uh, I think this uh, 373cc from KTM if they haven't done any major changes to it, it's just a, it's an engine that runs super, super lean from factory. And uh, that definitely is something that needs to be addressed if you do get one of these. Uh, you don't want a bike to be running as lean as they do from the factory. Another thing to note about this motorcycle is given its light weight, it is unbelievably easy to manage around town in low speed situations. Put a foot down, it feels like an absolute featherweight, super easy to manage. I can't imagine this thing weighs much more than 340 pounds or something like that. I'd have to look into the exact specs, I forgot to check in on it today, but uh, I, I cannot imagine this bike weighs any more than 340, 330 pounds because it feels absolutely featherweight. Back the rear wheel a little bit. <laughs> so in that supermoto mode as we turned it on, like I mentioned earlier, the ABS switches off in the rear and you can slide the rear around and have some fun with it. That's a feature that I have not seen in any other beginner bike that we've uh, tested, a, a switchable ABS on the fly like that. Typically you have to go in and pull the fuse and, and make it so that it's ABS fully off, uh, which, you know, sometimes it's fun to turn it off while you're riding and then to have some fun and then turn it back on so that you can have a more safe ride. But honestly, just having that rear turned off is, why would you ever want that turned on? <laughs> Now one thing I want to point out as well guys is we will be having a surprise motorcycle in the garage later in March uh, to compare the KTM to. I can't spoil it just yet but you guys are really going to enjoy seeing that comparison so stay tuned for that. Getting the KTM out in some twisties now having some fun with it. How does she do? She does alright. These Metzlers aren't the grippiest things in the world so you do have to be careful a little bit but it's a fun motorcycle nonetheless. Now up here on these kind of more hilly areas, it is tough to kind of get it going. It does take a little bit to really muscle it up these hills. It's a little slow, but you know what? It does the job. But it's an easy bike to ride. It's the, the rider triangle really is just so damn small though. So that is something to keep in mind. I do feel a little oversized for this motorcycle. But it's still incredibly capable. If this is your starting point, if you're getting this thing to learn how to ride and to, you know, understand the sort of basic dynamics of how to corner and how to have fun with the motorcycle, great starting point to, to really understand that. Even though the ergonomics are really different from a sport bike, um, you know, you could definitely learn on this and then transition to something in the future, uh, you know, to, to a proper R6 or a Daytona, or if you wanted to go that route, but something tells me that if you're buying this motorcycle or looking at bikes like this, you're probably not looking at something like a Daytona or, or something of that ilk to, uh, to go and have fun with. You're probably looking to upgrade to a Duke 790 or an MT-09 or something like that so you can have some fun. Front end feel is really good. Um, but again, because the rider triangle is just so small, it is a bit wonky, you know, it feels a little funny kind of flipping it in a corner here and there, but it'll definitely do the job. It's very capable. Flicks right in. Front end feel is really similar to the RC390, honestly. Good grip, honestly, this is, this is pretty good. Yeah, you can definitely hustle with this little bike. <laughs> That's awesome.
little bit of a brake test there. It does really well. Even though these, uh, these brakes probably need a, a little bit of a pad upgrade, but they do okay. Let's take this one a little bit slower because it's quite bumpy right here. Yep, right there. So take it easy. That's the benefit of knowing the road you guys are traveling on. So don't ever push on a road you're not familiar with. So that's just a little bit of a yammy tip for you. So back there, if you had been cooking it in third gear, you would have maybe gotten chopped up on those rougher patches. So careful whenever you're riding out there, guys. Don't, don't overdo it. Ride it on straight, ride it six tenths. Don't ever go above that. It's not worth it. But man, this little bike is fun. Just a fun, fun motorcycle to ride. And I think one of the coolest things about it is its uh, low speed performance. Um, it is fun in just about every speed that you can imagine. It's so light and flickable too. And two gears there to set up into here. Tight little corner. So yeah, again, like I mentioned, it's gonna teach you all those fundamentals. This is a super rewarding motorcycle to flick around and to, to really understand in that way. Really, really awesome bike, man. Let's see, keeping it a gear low, what does it do? It's got plenty of punch to get you out of the corners, man. Let's keep it in third here, let's see what it does. Got a tighter one here, let's see. I know it tightens up up ahead. So what happens? Let's keep it in third and see what it does. Plenty of punch. Plenty of punch to get you out of there. Now let's see about a little, a little pull in first, shall we? And that's the fun of a little bike. You get to ring them out all day long <laughs> without too much trouble. Super fun. Let's get this thing out in our final little testing area and let's do some baby wheelies and skid the roo wheel and show you how much fun this bike can be. Let's go do it. So again, guys, the, the main benefit of this motorcycle, I think, is its low speed performance. It's just so fun in conditions like this. Just, you know, I'd say under 30 miles per hour. You can just slide the rear wheel around. Like I said, it gives you a lot of that kind of dirt bike supermoto stuff, but in a package that's easy to handle for most people. It's not tall and intimidating. All right, guys, I think that's enough gooning and wheeling on the uh, KTM RC390. Excuse me, Duke 390. Jesus, where was my head at? If you guys want the chance to win this motorcycle and do some sick wheelies yourself, hit the link down below to yamenoob.co. Get signed up to enter. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later.